Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. We have the indefinite integral of secant cubed x over tan x dx. So pause the video, see how you want to work it out on your own. I'm going to get into my solution. And looking at this integral right off the bat, the first thing my brain goes to is, oh, can I try a u sub? And no, in this case, it's not working to do it immediately. If you let u be secant x, then du would be secant x tan x dx. Do we have that? No, my tangent's in the denominator, so that's not helping me out. So then I'm like, okay, no. What if we let u equal tangent x? Then du is secant squared x dx, but still no good, because then I have one extra secant x in the numerator, and since it's not squared, I can't use an identity to swap it out. So uh, this doesn't work either. And in the beginning, you might need to actually, you know, write out the possible u subs and work through a couple steps until you can see that they don't work. And then once you build up your skills, you'll be able to just kind of do it in your head, okay? So then what do we do from here? One option is you could rewrite everything in terms of sines and cosines, but I can just play around with these trig functions as is since secants and tangents seem to work nicely together, right? In calculus a lot of the time. So what I did was hop to that numerator and I broke it up as secant squared x times secant x. And then this is still all over tangent x dx. And then I use my Pythagorean identity to replace secant squared x with, do you remember? Very good, tan squared x plus one times secant x over tangent x dx. And I thought maybe this is just gonna give me a little more play, right? So now we can distribute secant x through the numerator. And so we're gonna have tan squared x secant x plus secant x over tangent x dx. How are we doing? Well, now that I have two terms in the numerator and just one denominator, let me write each of the terms separately over tangent x. So I'm going to write this as tan squared x secant x over tan x plus secant x over tan x dx. And then now, look, things are going to fall into place so nicely. So here tangent from the denominator cancels with one of the tangents up top. Beautiful. I'm really excited because tan x secant x, oof, I know that antiderivative, right? It's just secant x. Plus, okay, now what do we do with this guy? Secant x over tan x. Now is a good time. Let's rewrite everything just in terms of sines and cosines. Maybe stuff will cancel. So secant x is 1 over cosine x. Divided by tangent x is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, so multiplying by cosine x over sine x dx, beautiful. So then these cosines cancel out. And then that second term, and you know what? Yeah, I know it's exciting. I know we know the antiderivative of this first term, but it's just a lot more elegant. You wait and you do all the anti-differentiation in one step, okay? Plus, it takes some self-control in math, I know. Who is this? This is just 1 over sine x, our good friend cosecant x dx. Do we know antiderivative of cosecant x? Yes, that's one you should put to memory. There's multiple versions, so just choose your favorite. All right, and then now we can bring it on home. So antiderivative of tangent x secant x is just secant x. I'll use minus natural log, absolute value, cosecant x plus cotangent x, and then don't forget, plus c. All right. Like I said in the beginning, you could switch everything to sines and cosines, but then it's pretty much algorithmically equivalent from there on out. Like you're going to use a Pythagorean identity, distribute, split it into multiple terms, etc., cetera, et cetera, and end up at the same spot. So I thought, mm, let's just skip that extra step. I did try it both ways. If you did something entirely different, though, I would love to hear. So please let me know in the comments down below. And if you're just learning how to work with trig integrals, you're starting Calc 2 right now, 
then hop on over to my Calculus 2 video lectures playlist where I can break down a lot of the process and the steps involved with evaluating these integrals. And just keep working through this playlist to integral over the day because it'll just help you sharpen your skills, okay? So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Math with Professor V. Thanks so much, you guys. I'll be back sooner than later. Bye-bye.